Welcome to the InfoStream, bringing you the latest news from around the world. In NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, a hush fell as Voyager 1 signal, our farthest voice, faltered and faded. For decades, this faint transmission had been our link to the edge of the solar system, a steady narrator of the unknown. But on this day, the data stream became corrupted, fragmented, then silent. The loss was more than technical. It felt like saying goodbye to an old friend who had journeyed farther than any before. Voyager 1's final transmissions weren't a gentle fade, but a sudden, extraordinary anomaly. The last data packets hinted at a dramatic spike in plasma density, a change so abrupt it defied our models. It was as if Voyager had collided with an invisible barrier at the edge of the sun's influence. The probe's last act was to send back a puzzle, a final mystery for us to solve. The silence that followed echoed across the 24 billion kilometers between us. This was not the serene emptiness we'd imagined, but a dynamic, perhaps violent frontier. Voyager's end was not just a conclusion, it was the start of a new cosmic question. What lies at the very edge of the sun's reach? The long goodbye of Voyager 1 marks the beginning of a new chapter in our exploration. Its final whisper challenges everything we thought we knew about our place in the galaxy. Voyager 1's story began with the rare alignment of the outer planets, a once in 176 years chance for a grand tour. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 and its twin were built to explore Jupiter and Saturn, using gravity to slingshot deeper into space. At Jupiter, Voyager revealed active volcanoes on Io and faint rings, transforming our understanding of the giant planet. Saturn's encounter brought us the first close-ups of its rings and a glimpse beneath Titan's thick, hazy atmosphere. Studying Titan's mysteries sent Voyager 1 on a path out of the planetary plane, ending its tour but beginning its interstellar mission. While Voyager 2 continued to Uranus and Neptune, Voyager 1 set course for the edge of the Sun's domain its new mission to become the first human-made object to enter interstellar space. For decades, it journeyed outward, reporting on the conditions of the outer heliosphere. Voyager 1 became our silent sentinel, pushing the frontier of human knowledge ever farther. Its journey was a leap into the unknown, toward the boundary where the sun's influence fades. And it kept going, carrying our hopes into the void. Each Voyager carries a message, a golden record, a greeting to any distant civilization that might find it. This 12-inch, gold-plated disc is a time capsule, a bottle cast into the cosmic ocean. Curated by Carl Sagan and his team, the record holds 115 images, sounds of Earth, greetings in 55 languages, and music from Bach to Chuck Berry. It's a portrait of humanity, our science, our art, our diversity. The record's music spans continents and centuries, from classical masterpieces to rock and roll, reflecting the depth of human creativity. The golden record is an act of optimism, a message of hope, even if it's never found. Its true audience was always us, forcing us to consider how to represent humanity as a whole. It united people in a common goal to send our best selves into the cosmos. The chances of discovery are infinitesimal, but the gesture is profound. The record will drift for billions of years long after we're gone. It stands as a monument to our curiosity and our longing for connection. The golden record is more than data. It's a symbol of who we are. It's our greeting to the universe carried by our greatest explorers. To understand Voyager 1's final message, we must grasp the environment it crossed, the heliosphere. Our solar system is a vast bubble carved out by the sun's magnetic field and solar wind. This bubble shields us from the harsh radiation of deep space. The solar wind flows outward until, billions of kilometers away, it collides with the interstellar medium. The first boundary is the termination shock, where the solar wind slows abruptly. Voyager 1 crossed this shock in 2004, providing our first direct measurements. Beyond lies the heliosheath, a turbulent region where the solar wind is compressed and chaotic. Voyager spent nearly a decade here, revealing a far more complex structure than we'd imagined. The outermost boundary is the heliopause, where the sun's influence ends and interstellar space begins. Beyond the heliopause, the environment changes, new magnetic fields, higher plasma densities, and cosmic rays. For years, scientists debated where this edge lay. 
Voyager 1 was our scout, sent to find this invisible line and report back. Its journey mapped the true border of our solar system. On August 25, 2012, Voyager 1's instruments detected a sudden dramatic change. The sun's charged particles dropped by a thousandfold, while galactic cosmic rays surged. Voyager had crossed the heliopause, entering interstellar space. But the crossing defied expectations. The magnetic field didn't shift as predicted. Debate raged. Had Voyager truly crossed, or was it in an unknown region? The answer came from plasma wave data. A solar eruption's shockwave reached Voyager, revealing a plasma density 40 times higher than before. This was the interstellar medium. Voyager was now sampling the galaxy itself, measuring temperature, density, and magnetic fields between the stars. It had become our first interstellar probe. Voyager's crossing opened a new window onto the cosmos. We could finally see our home from the outside. The boundary was real, and Voyager had found it. For years, Voyager 1 sent back steady data from interstellar space, building our baseline of the galactic environment. But in its final hours, everything changed. The data stream became a roar, numbers that made no sense. Instruments showed a sharp, tenfold spike in plasma density and a compression of magnetic field lines. It was as if Voyager had flown into a dense, invisible wall. Was it a malfunction? The probe was ancient, but the anomalies appeared across multiple instruments. The timing matched, a real external phenomenon, not a glitch. The final transmission wasn't a slow fade, but a shout, a startling observation from the edge. Our models had never predicted such a structure. Voyager's last message suggested the space outside our heliosphere is far more complex than we believed. It hinted at new, unanticipated structures at the solar system's frontier. The data left us with a profound mystery. Voyager's end was a final, unsolved riddle. Voyager's silence sparked new theories and debate. Did it encounter a denser region of the local interstellar cloud, a filament of gas, or a remnant of a supernova? Or did the heliosphere's motion through the galaxy create compressed plasma and magnetic fields, forming a temporary wall? Some suggest we've glimpsed unknown plasma physics at the boundary of a star system. With only one data point, the truth remains elusive. The wall may be real, dynamic, or a signpost to new physics. For now, it's a tantalizing mystery, Voyager's final gift. Voyager's legacy is monumental, not just in distance, but in how it reshaped our view of the cosmos. It turned distant planets into living worlds, revealed the sun's protective bubble, and mapped the solar wind's boundaries. Voyager showed our solar system is connected to the galaxy, not isolated. Its images, like the pale blue dot, remind us of Earth's fragility and our place in the universe. The golden record stands as a symbol of our desire to connect. Voyager's engineering was revolutionary, its longevity a testament to human ingenuity. The mission proved we could build machines to outlast us and reach the stars. Voyager's journey is a story of discovery, dedication, and hope. Voyager's final transmission ends one chapter and begins another. Its silence compels us to look forward, to build faster, smarter probes that can reach the edge in decades, not centuries. New propulsion and advanced instruments will let us map the interstellar medium and investigate the mysterious wall. Understanding the heliosphere's boundary is key to knowing our place in the galaxy and the conditions for life. Are such walls common around other stars? Voyager's questions are universal. As we plan new missions, Voyager's legacy challenges our ambition. Its final whisper is an invitation to build new ships, chart new courses, and sail into the unknown. The next horizon awaits. When will we set forth to reach it?